Alright, in this video we're going to make some outposts. I'm not going to go to the normal place that I would go, which is Androphon, because everybody seems to go there. Uh, I'm going to build two outposts to start with. One with aluminum, the other with iron, and get them linked together. But before I do that, I'm going to modify the frontier so that I have a workshop and some additional cargo capacity. Got anything you need? Need some work done? Okay, no problem. Alright, so we'll move the engines out of the way so that we can add on another half which has the workshop. I'm also going to switch them around so that when you go up the ladder from the landing bay, we're in the hab that has the workshop so we don't have to run around all over the place. And just because I want to fill up the space, I'm going to throw in a science lab and then use the additional connection points for some cargo. Since I'm only level 3, I don't have very many of the items available yet. So we're going to get the biggest ones we can, which are 245 it looks like. Also, in case you didn't already know, Control G will copy an element that you've already made, so you don't have to go back to the menus to make a new one. And now we're going to be on a landing gear, right? No, not enough grab jump. Let's see if I can afford a better, a better grab drive. This one is jump thrust 13. And the best one I can buy looks like 16. We'll ditch the 13 in favor of the 16. Which will at least allow us to jump when we're trying to go. And that gives us uh, almost 2,000 cargo capacity, which still is not very much. But it's enough to get us started. We'll make some more money here relatively quickly, and then we can fly back and forth and... Well, we'll probably end up flying all over the place because vendors just don't have very much money. Alright, we'll save that. And now, we're going to go to, uh, if I can pronounce it, Procyon. Since I'm already here, scan the planet for extra 20 XP, why not? And let's pick up the free stuff that's sitting out here. May not need it, but we can always sell what we don't need.
bunch of useless lead. All right, uh, I think we want to go over here and create the iron base first because iron is going to be used for everything that we make. Uh, especially the landing pads. If you don't make a landing pad, then your ship won't land at your base. It'll land near your base, which can get really annoying. all the level up points into science because we want to get down here to outpost engineering and planetary habitation which allows us to build on more restrictive planets and allows us to build more stuff which is important if your primary goal is as this character's background is homesteader he needs to be able to build more stuff to be a homesteader uh, let's see I can't go to level two let's go with scanning why not I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time looking for the perfect place. Ideally, on one of the planets, we have, in addition to our primary resource, we also have helium, but it's not necessary. We can link a base with the helium to a base that doesn't have helium. But if we get helium in the same place, that will allow us to use helium power generators, which generate much more power then will be generated from the solar or wind generators. I'm going to spend a little bit of time walking around. I guess I could have scouted this in advance before starting the video. And actually I did, but it seems like the planets are different at least as far as some of the randomness goes. Alright, forget it. We'll try and get helium on the other planet. When you're running around, don't forget to occasionally look up at the sky because there is some really beautiful scenery in this game. But if you're in a rush to just get from point A to point B, you miss it all. One thing to be careful of is don't build your outpost too close to one of the proc generated locations because if you do it will cut off your buildable area. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it right here. And then we'll put an iron extractor over here. And then of course it's gonna tell us we want power. Uh, yeah, duh. That's enough to get us started. Um, we need some adaptive frames in order to build some storage. So let's build ourselves a habitat and we'll put adaptive frames inside. I like the transparent ones. They call them hydroponics, but you can't put anything in there like uh, farming, which is what you would expect in hydroponics. But I like them because they're transparent. You can look outside, look around before you go out. Which comes in handy if we build the storage where we can see it, then we know when it's full. Uh, and you'll see, you'll see the benefit of that in a little bit. And we need an industrial workbench. And that's all we need. And just like Fallout 4, trying to align stuff to square it up with the wall is a major pain in the butt. 
I, I don't know why they didn't make it a little easier to control. But I'm going to leave it crooked just because I don't want to mess with it any longer. And we're going to go ahead and throw down a, a bed, which we're not going to use right away, but we will use soon. Now, we need, we need two more adaptive frames just to build one storage. So, let's start with that. We'll just build them as we need them. The only downside is going in and out of this stupid airlock over and over again. Let's see, I'm going to start the storage. And then we have to link the output. You right click on it and drag it over to where you want it and then press E. And now the output of the iron is going into the container. So what do we need now to build our landing pad? Because I like to have a landing pad right away. A uh, bunch of stuff we just don't have. Uh, zero wire. I might have the mats to make that, I'll have to go look. Iron we'll have in a few minutes, but then we have to build 18 adaptive frames, which is 18 additional iron. So we'll need a total of 48 iron. We'll keep an eye on this guy. It's already got four. You can see right here it has the percentage. This bar, this area right here, will turn green when it's full, yellow when it's partially full, and we'll be able to see it from here. So we can go rest for an hour, come back, or look out the window and see how full it is. Uh, let me see if I can make some zero wire. And yes, we can make the two zero wire required to build to build the landing pad. And we need 18, but we only have 14 aluminum. So we're going to have to go get some more aluminum before we can do anything else here. Which stinks because when we come back, our ship's not going to be conveniently located right next to us. It's going to be 300, 400 meters away at least. But we'll take the ship and we'll go over to another planet. Uh, there we go. That one's got aluminum and helium. Let's see if we can get helium and aluminum in one place so that it can function as both our aluminum produ producer this is gonna be fun. and our outbound kill some uh, crimson fleet first and if you're new to the game you might not know crimson fleet is the pirate faction essentially Now, for some reason, I managed to get aggro from the UC guys, which is dumb because I didn't fire on them. Now we're going to have a bounty we're going to have to pay off. Or I'm going to die and have to load my most recent save. I'm, the ship is not really outfitted to be a combat vessel. And if you push E for too long, trying to change your targets, you're going to get killed in a bad combat just like that. Because it makes you stand up. It's kind of annoying. One of the few things I really dislike about this game. Alright, so look, hey, we completely lost everything because I didn't save before I took off. Now we get to start over. this right about here. Put the iron extractor right there. So 
power right next to it. Build our, build our hab again. zero wire that we talked about. Uh, we'll make all four because I'm going to want a landing pad in both locations. But I know we don't have enough aluminum, so after I build the storage, I'll go fly to the other planet. But save first. In case you're wondering why I'm messing with this so much, I'm trying to get it square because when you go to line up multiples in a row like that, it's better if they're if you have it on the high point so you can build on both sides. Otherwise, it'll start saying you're intersecting with an existing object when that object is actually the dirt. All right, so that's all we can do here. F5, get some quick save going. Go back to our star chart. Jump over to Procyon A, the 4A. And no pirates this time. Nope. Bounty hunter instead. Well, and here's the, uh, the wanted perk does for you. It would be great if I already had the piloting skill so that I could get challenge points for killing these guys. I'm not going to give them 2,000. get lucky and they'll drop something that I can actually use. Silver is always useful since you need it to make zero wire. Right. Now we need aluminum 
Let's try right there. See if we can come up with aluminum and helium in the same location. You can already see the helium, the green on the ground there. I guess that's aluminum. Pardon me. So, another way you can find out if it's within range is if you press R, it tells you in the upper left corner what resources are available at this location. So, let's go see if we can find some helium. I don't think I've trained boost back yet. You know, I haven't. There's a helium vent, but that's not what we need. Downside of being low level is scan range is short. Everything else. Stuff. Let's go see what kind of ship just landed. Maybe it's pirates and we want to kill them and steal their ship. That's assuming, of course, I can kill them being wimpy at low level. Uh, I don't see the the landing location. Usually when a ship lands, you get a, uh, a flag for a landing site and then you can just walk towards the flag. There's the ship, but it doesn't show up even as a... It's not even showing up on the scanner. That's kind of weird. There we go. Free star pickup. Well, that's probably not pirates. see any people. Usually people get out and walk around. Since it doesn't say it's a pirate thing, I'm not going to go inside because I don't want to start a fight with and get a bounty if I don't have to. I already have one bounty. That's enough. Alright. I'm going to try a different landing location. Let's try how about over here on the sunny side? any here, not in the immediate vicinity. Let's run away from the junk because it interferes with your building area. I don't really want to be locked out of my own building area. Yeah, 
You know, earlier when I was scouting out which planets I wanted to do this in instead of using Andafron, I landed right on a spot on both planets that had helium and the primary resource I was after. Go figure. Kind of pause and look up once in a while because sometimes the views are really cool. side by side. So I want to be in an area with more aluminum than helium because I only need to put one helium extractor in place but I'm going to be putting a lot more aluminum. So I'm going to put it I'm going to drop it right here Part of the reason I chose this system is that it had planets with the resources that I wanted that I could build on at low level without any of the higher skills unlocked. Okay, we're going to start with the aluminum extractor because we already know we need that. Drop it right inside there. And it looks like we have enough resources to build helium extractor. Uh, let's see, I need an authentic manifold in order to build the generator. So, let me switch to building. I want to make sure that I'm not building my buildings over top of over top of my resource mining. Because if you do then you're limiting how much resource mining you could do. But I think I can build it right here looking this way. since there are aluminum nodes right here. I need to go farm some more aluminum just so I can build a workbench. anyway because it's not like we can have too much of them.
think I probably need aluminum for the bed. But nope. Okay. No, I do, but I have enough. Hmm, there we go. So I need an authentic manifold, which I believe requires reactive gauge. And reactive gauge requires one aluminum more than we have left. Blast it. next thing we'll run out of will probably be tungsten, which we'll have to go to another planet to retrieve. Think it's another, right? All right, let's go find a planet with some nickel. This one has nickel. This won't take long. Hey, more pirates. money. Hope this helps you out. You take care out there. Oh, blast it. It's way too sensitive, in my opinion, the E button, because I didn't hold it. I just pressed it. Hey, look, tungsten. That'll save us some effort in a little bit when we're trying to build the light blue arrows, there's one over here too. Those are the empty containers that are leftover stuff we can pick up. Right now that we're not fighting, give myself some more engine speed. for gold for a while. Nickel. Nickel's going to be the brown. Let's go. We'll try right here. I don't think we can build a base. It looks like maybe we can build a base on here. It's cold. I don't have the skill for deep breeze or inferno. go 
ahead and drop an outpost here. Even though I'm not going to build anything, just so we have it clearly marked to the intention, because we'll probably want some cobalt later too. But for now, I'm just going to mine the nickel with the mining laser. Yeah, we'll take the uranium too in case we decide we want to build some nuclear power plants at some point. Of course, I don't remember how much nickel I needed. I think it was only two, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some more while I'm already here. On planets with an atmosphere, we can use wind turbines. The wind turbines, depending on the planet, will sometimes generate significantly more power than the solar. Ideally though, the nuclear plants, Vintinium plants, they're the best ones, generate a lot more power, smaller footprint. Alright, I don't know why I'm running back to the ship. We're just going to travel anyway. So now you get to see what I was talking about, about not landing back at the base. Whenever you land at an outpost, it puts you at the outpost beacon, not in your ship. So then you have to figure out, okay, so where's the ship? 670 meters away? That's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to rename this while I'm still here. Aluminum mining. Because I don't want to have to try to remember funky names and what they meant. Alright, authentic manifold. I think that I can build I think I can build the fuel generator. I'm gonna put it over here next to our source of fuel. Let's see, I don't have a container, so it's gonna go directly. Oops. Now if I remember correctly you have to actually start your fuel generator with power from another source. But I don't have enough aluminum to build power to get aluminum. So we're going to go looking for more aluminum again. Let's see. I'm going to head toward these rocks over here because I know I saw some over here earlier that I didn't pick up. In case you're wondering, yes, this is my first video where I've actually done narration. And I'm only narrating because when I did the first video on building an outpost with no narration, and I watched it myself, it's, it's not really helpful if you don't know what I'm doing and why. see a lot of comments online with people buying their resources. Like, you know the resources are free if you just take a little time to pick them up. There are some things that are a little more difficult to find that I would prefer to buy like sealant that you have to find the right plants or animals that drop sealant and that that can take a lot of time.
and all of the HAB units require sealant in order to build them, which makes sense because they need to be sealed. All the connection points, when you connect them together, have to seal. I wasn't paying attention to how much I needed, so I'm just going to get a, a pile and then go back and build what I can. All I gotta do is get everything working and then the aluminum will just roll on. I think we can control who gets power. So the only way we can control it is by temporarily removing the aluminum mine, which we can put back up. Oh, still not enough power, so I'm still going to need some copper, which of course is not available on this planet. Find a planet with copper. This will be the tungsten when we get to the point that we need tungsten. It is possible to run around and find locations that have four or more resources in one spot. But I personally don't like to spend several hours just looking for the place to create my outpost. There we go. Copper everywhere. Of course, I can't mine that copper, I need the nodes. But again, we'll drop a base. Except it's extreme, and I can't, so. Let's just find some copper nodes somewhere. Uranium node. Not really useful at this point. Chlorine. I don't think I have any need for chlorine. Tungsten. I'm going to go ahead and grab that while we're here because I guarantee we're going to need it. Here we go. 
Not sure how I managed to walk past this without seeing them the first time. I don't want to come back here soon, so I'm going to get a few extra nodes of copper if I can find them. And tungsten. Just saw a copper note over here. Since I can see the blue dot, I'm going to go scan it. It's lead. I don't need any lead. But I'm still completing the challenge for ranking up scanning, so there's value with that. I think I'm gonna get these two nodes. Head back over to the aluminum plant. The next thing I'll run out of will probably be beryllium. Because you need beryllium to create the solar. I just decided I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know how much power needs to, how much helium this needs. Only one, so it shouldn't take too long. But I don't know how long it takes for it to burn that one either. I usually don't use them. Because I usually don't build something where there's helium except the interstellar transport pads. Alright, so I'm gonna go sleep for an hour and see if that's enough to get the power going. And I believe here it's yeah, twelve hours almost to for each hour. So we should now there we go. Total power twenty eight, that's what we need. Yeah, do we have enough resources to build another aluminum mine? Build it right over here. I'm going to build a second one because I have the stuff to do it. Um, maybe not. I want to build a storage. Uh, we're out of power. We're out of fuel already. So that tells me I need another. Of course, now we don't have enough power to power everything, so it's not going to matter anyway. You know, maybe the helium generator wasn't worth the time to get all the parts for. Okay, storage. 
three adaptive frames. I am not going to have enough materials to build the storage. So I have to collect some aluminum out of here and then go back over to the iron and collect some iron. That's for an hour and that'll be it max, which is not very much. Hopefully with the two generators going over there, the power doesn't run out again. It must have, because there's no aluminum here. Usually in an hour this thing should have been full. But it just shut off, so does that mean there's no power? Yep. Alright, I'm tearing down all of the helium junk because this thing is useless. I'll build more helium stuff when I have a need for it. Like when I have the platform to send stuff out of the system. If I build anything that needs to be sent out of the system. Or in to the system from elsewhere. Now we've got a little extra power, and we've got some aluminum. Did it give me more iron? Can I build a storage? No. Okay. Collect some more aluminum. Should stop running out of power now. Eleven. Let's see. We'll get one more and then we'll go get some iron so we can build some, come back and build some storage. Alright. Go get some iron. Look at that. All the time we spent messing around, this thing is completely full. Going to head back over, build some storage for the aluminum mine. That's not where we want to go. And with the iron I just picked up, once we have some aluminum flowing, be able to build the landing pad so that the ship is actually with us which isn't important right now but it will be when we're overloaded we have to slow walk all the way across the map let's see I want to put the storage where I can see it out the window so I'm gonna put it right here high point let's hit the high point I guess I'd better build the adaptive frames first. Hello. Wake up, Lemmyardy. so I know that I'm not building it in front of my mining areas. We'll start with just that one. Link this guy to it. Do I have enough? 
match to make another aluminum mine. Double our production speed. Now, I'm thinking because this has a 12 to 1 time compression that one hour is going to fill that storage up. I don't know that for sure, which is why I want to be able to see the storage from inside. Nope, only half. But that's going to be enough to get us going with the other things that we need to build. Eighteen adaptive frames, and then we can build our landing pad. You don't really have to go outside to do this, but I want to look around with the scanner where resources are at so I can build the landing pad not covering resources. It's like over there so I can build it facing this way. And then we'll go ahead and build a cargo link since we have everything needed to do that. And then from the container, where's the container? From the container we'll link to the cargo link and then build a cargo link in the other base and have the aluminum shipped. No, actually that's not what I want to do at all. This, this planet has the 12 compression. The other one only has, uh, I wrote it down, what is it? Eight, I think. Um, so I don't want to, I want to use the higher time compression so we don't have to spend as much time, real life time, waiting. We'll build a pad over at the iron and ship it back, which probably, I disconnected it, but anything that was in storage is already in the outbound over here. Yeah, it's only two, but how much do I have left? Is it worth waiting? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. I'm gonna wait one more hour and then grab another half container of of aluminum and then we're going to run out of stamina walking across the map because I'll be overloaded but when we come back to this one again our ship will be right there work on the challenge of sprinting while 75% or more burdened and I believe I'm overburdened right now Let me just sprint that challenge will unlock unlock the rank 2 strength and each level gives you additional carrying weight that you can carry thing in this game that uh, is slightly unrealistic 
Yeah, you gotta chuckle at the slightly part there. That's uh, and that is that you can carry unlimited amount of weight, but if you're significantly overweight, it will burn your health all the way down to about five percent. It won't kill you, but it'll bring it all the way down to five percent. So when you create a bunch of stuff and you want to go sell it, you can carry however much of it that you have and not worry about overburdening. Even if your ship can't carry more weight, you can carry it on your person. You're just going to end up at 5% five, five health, which is only a problem if you end up getting into a fight. Then it could be fatal. Other outpost. I'm going to rename this one when we get there so I don't forget which is which. I mean, there's only two, so it'd be easy to remember, but when you get up to the higher numbers, can't remember what's in what system. Better yet, when you're doing the linking, it's much easier to know you're linking the right thing if it's clearly named, at least in my opinion. And since I'm the one making the video, my opinion is the one that counts. When you're playing, your opinion counts. Alright, I need 18 more, and I think I could just build it right over here. just enough from the two silver I looted off of one of the pirate ships. Okay, for the cargo link, I'm going to need more silver. It's only 400 meters away. Okay, sometimes the sky, really cool things, like you got the planet up in there. I believe that's the planet because we're on a moon. Uh, sometimes you'll see the rings. If there's a ring planet nearby, you'll see the ring planet up in the sky. It's Just wandering around like this, I can see why some people would say it's boring, but if you, you have to take the time to look around and enjoy the scenery. Just like in real life, you go on a road trip, you can't spend all your time focusing on the road, you have to stop and look at the scenery, or it's not much enjoyment to it. can't fast travel because I didn't leave all of my junk on the ship. But this time I'm going to dump as much of, of the stuff I'm carrying onto the ship as I can. Because we can build from the ship storage without having to pick it up again. Alright, so silver. Is there a planet in this system that has silver? No silver? I 
guess I have to go there to see it. Huh? Iron, lead, argon, nickel, iron, uranium, and copper. Water and copper. Lead, titanium, and nickel. Water and nickel. Yeah, nothing on a gas giant. Water, nickel, and cobalt. And argon. Okay, so silver, we're going to have to go elsewhere for. Now, I know for sure that Crete has silver from doing this guy. Uh, so let's set course to Crete. Unexplored route. Really? this lead right so I can't show the silver because I don't have the skill yet but I know I'm gonna go back over here because I know that there's silver all around that thing I didn't spend that much time in this play actually picking it up but I know it's here As usual, since I don't want to have to come back right away, I'm going to pick up a bunch. Well, I don't need the lead, but... Lead, lead. One thing to watch out for is if you did this quest where you went through this building, which is the basically the tutorial where Vasco is following you around telling you not to get shot because you might die. Uh, if you read the terminals, you get all of this story about the terror morph that got loose. So, you gotta watch out wandering around here. You, you can run into the terror morph that was in the lab. And at level 4, he's probably gonna be fatal. the next time I'm in, in the city just buy as much silver as I can get or, or better yet buy some zero wire or maybe uh, find some robots to shoot and get zero wire off the corpses alright it's a robot doesn't have a corpse but you know what I mean alright I'm going to call that good because I don't want to spend a whole bunch more time running around here but I am going to scan stuff while I can. I'm still working on scanning level ups. Alright. Let's use the fast travel just because I don't want to run around. Hey, new data? What new data? Oh hey look, I can see silver now. How come I couldn't see silver earlier? 
beat shake up wrong. Alright. At any rate. Back to Hey, look, there's our ship. Zero wire. I need to remind myself what I'm doing. Need more zero wire. So we'll put the put the cargo link on the other side. In case you're wondering why I want storage in addition to going to the output link, because when I build more iron mines, I'm going to be building, I'm going to be generating iron faster than the ship travels back and forth between the planets. And I believe the out link, the output link on the link pad will only hold about 400. You may notice that I'm getting 1 XP for every adaptive frame. Once we get this all set up, we can make a bunch of adaptive frames and level up some kill points. Let me see, Let me see if I can move this guy just a little bit. Eh, never mind. I think we're okay. Two. Five. Five would be a good. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. And then we've got to link them together. And then we have to link to the outbound. Since we're already here, I'm going to take a little nap and get some, get some iron. Oh, before I, before I do that, before I go take a nap, let's get some more increased production going here. Of course, that means I'm going to need more power. Do I have enough? Do I have enough for power? I, I do. And I can build, that gives me one more, and that gives me enough for two more. So we'll build two more. We'll just start with two more. As we go, we can slowly add more to this. And then as I level up the science-y skills, I'll, uh, I'll be able to build better extractors, and then we can either add them to the open space or if we run out of open space we can bring down those little ones and put up some bigger ones. Alright, so now three to one. Now we'll sleep. I'm gonna do a big rest. This is the boring part sitting here watching this, but that might be a bit more than we actually need. The time compression there. I think I might actually jump out of this. That's six hours. How far did that get us? Yeah, that's what I thought. Almost full in six hours. 
But yeah, good thing I didn't wait the whole 24. Now, I'm going to overload myself. I'm going to pick up all of the iron that I can and bring it with me. And then when we get to the other end... When we get to the other end, we'll uh, go ahead and make the link travel from here to there so the iron will get shipped over. As I said, the ships only carry something like 400 on each trip. So we'll, in the initial phases where all we're doing is building for the sake of building, uh, we then, we will we'll be traveling around a lot more than in the later game where you have everything already set up and you're doing other stuff elsewhere and you can come back and find that your storage is already full. You can never have enough storage. No matter how much you have, it's never never going to be enough. So we only got one container of aluminum, which is not going to be a whole lot in comparison to the amount of iron I got on me right now. But let's go set up the link. Probably should have left some of my junk. Oh, here's, here's something that uh, you may not know. If you're within 200 meters of your ship, less than 200 meters from your ship, you can go into the menu to the ship and press F, and you can transfer the stuff from your person to the ship without having to go to the ship to do it. So now I'm not running out of steam just walking across the outpost here. And we want a link from the iron mine. And here comes our first load. Hear the ship coming in. I don't see it yet, though. There it is. All right, so now we need more storage. Got to have storage for the stuff coming off of the off of the ship over here. I'm going to start with it eh, right here. It's a little bit. I uh, do some research and half and build uh, larger storage units because these are the smallest ones you can build. Let's just go ahead and start with five. Five sounds like a good number. Get some more storage for the aluminum because one unit of storage is just not big enough. I like to un I, I like to know exactly where my things link up and you can't see it when you get too much stuff built together I'm gonna break these links and reconnect them to this side and then this one will link to that one so that the linking is all in the same order that as we add more space we know where where to link And let's see, how about another aluminum extractor? Uh-oh. Bug. Uh, this is a an unfortunate common bug with the builder. Is you see the little spinny in overhead view. Yeah, the only way out is to escape and close the builder. And now the easy fix, quick save, quick load. Try that again. There we go. And now 
We have three of each. This is our second shipload coming in of iron, but it looks like this thing is still empty. I guess I must have picked it all up. Either that or I didn't properly link it and only thought I did. If no iron comes with this load, then uh, the next time we're over there, we'll double check the linkage because I don't think I... I thought I linked it, but maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. So we're getting some. Two containers full. Three containers. Four. I guess it's a good thing I built five because one trip was enough to fill four of them. Alrighty then. I had to build a bunch of extra adaptive frames. Huh. Why is that there? Uh, I forgot to build more power. guys all linked to here. This guy is already linked to there. This one is already linked to there, so... Or is it not? I guess they're not linked. See, I... I forget things sometimes, I guess. Okay. Now we're going to build a bunch of adaptive frames. Since adaptive frames are used to build just about everything. And... They give us some XP. I do have one mod installed that helps with this. It removes the 99 limit. 99 seems arbitrarily low to me. So we'll build the 200. That put us at level 5. Let's see. Uh, I need three more to get down to outpost engineering. I'm going to take scanning. So if I have the mats to build a research station. Copper. Of course I need more copper. Go figure. Aluminum. Aluminum is not going to be a problem because We just sleep for a few hours and we should have a whole bunch of aluminum. Huh. That filled up a lot a lot quicker than I was expecting. I probably should have slept for one hour and checked. Just to make sure that we have enough aluminum, we'll take three of the containers. We're going to run over here and grab, us, grab another stack of iron, too. And then we'll go see about building a copper base. I can't remember if the copper was on a planet that I could build on or not. Oh wait, I can't fast travel. I gotta go inside the ship because I'm overloaded. Let's see if there's enough cargo space to unload. Hey, I'm not out of cargo space on. Alright, I think I built... Yes, I did. Well, might as well scan it since I just leveled up that skill. Now, I built this here because there was nickel. Ah, this is nickel, not copper. Okay. Well, what the heck. I think I have the resources. Uh, 
gives the wind turbine 10 power instead of 4 from solar. Nickel and cobalt. I don't know where the cobalt vein is at. Oh, straight across the map. The thing with nickel and cobalt is we're not going to use the same volumes that we use of the other stuff. So, let's see. Where do I want to put that? Let's put it out of the way. 10 of 10. Good to go. Now we need a couple storage units. figure. copper that's what I was out looking for let's figure out where was the copper I think the copper was on a planet I couldn't build on yeah, this one inferno I can't build on inferno asteroid has nothing but we scan it we get scan data okay, this one have copper not only that, but it has atmosphere. So let's go travel to that planet. Well, I guess I was focused on the wrong thing. Yeah, we gotta jump over here and get into a fight. Save real quick, because there we go. Four, four ecliptics against me is not a very fair fight. And this would be why I saved, because I'm going to die again right here. So let's quick load, see if I can land in the middle of combat. Copper. Hey, that's a big spot of copper. Let's go right about there. Cop.
on this particular planet. Solar is more powerful than wind, but I don't have the materials, and I do have I don't have enough materials to build either one. So I need to go find two copper nodes to build power to get copper. But I do have the stuff to build the storage, so I can go ahead and do that. the 500 meters back. So, go to the ground map and just say fast travel. each because I don't have enough materials to build two of a, one or the other. But that's enough to get the copper mine going, which is all that really matters. I don't believe there's beryllium in this system at all. That means we have to go to a different place to find beryllium. Yeah. We figure we'd run out of beryllium so fast. Uh, is there beryllium in the soul system?
humans have nothing. Alright, enough of that. Let's go visit Sidonia Trade Authority and buy some beryllium. I'm sure I have plenty of money by now to do that. If you've not done it, you can go down below and wander around all over down through here. One of the guys told me the last time I did that that if you're to be careful not to fall down in there because they shut everything down until you get out. They don't really. If you jump down to the bottom, you're just stuck in the bottom. Leeches in the engine, leeches on the hull, multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So, what is going to run? There are no other surprises. For whatever reason, they decided when they put the airlock in Sidonia to make you only have to open the door once rather than open the outside door and then the inside door like you do everywhere else. It's kind of nice, but it would be nice Stay if you could bypass them all. What do you mean there's no work? We got lots of stuff. Just ask. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Cool. That's what we do here. Alright. Do they have beryllium? They do not, but they do have zero wire. So we'll just take the zero wire. <sighs> what was I needing the beryllium for? I don't even remember now. Go figure. That's what happens. But we can also sell some of the junk we have on the ship. A broken Constellation helmet. That's really useful. Uh, we can sell most of our adaptive frames because it's easy to make some more. Uh, 12,000 credits now. Not enough to do anything with, but we'll get there. I made a change to the ship at the beginning of the video. All of the loose junk inside your ship ends up in your cargo holds whenever you make a change. Every time you make a change. All right. Yo, stay good out there. All right, there's one other vendor here. Actually, there's two other vendors here. Hello, welcome to the Sedonia UC Exchange. The best goods, all courtesy of the United Colonies, straight to all of the wonderful UC soldiers, workers, and other citizens. I've got a little of this, a little of that, and maybe a little of some other things you wouldn't expect to find at the UC shop, hmm? But that's because I try to provide for everyone here. So, please, browse my stock and let me know what I can get for you, friendo. Take a look. Beryllium. Give me some beryllium. There we go. Not very much, but it's enough to get us going. All right. Caution. Be safe out there. Subterranean particle detonation imminent. Be advised to secure loose articles. All right. Back to our copper mine.
copper. I think I want a little more copper than that. Time for a bed. I could just sleep in the ship if it wasn't uh, a couple hundred kilometers away. And we're going to ignore most of this stuff for now. We're just going to work on outpost development. <coughs> we need the manufacturing, uh, which unlocks higher level containers. We'll use up some valuable resources and have to go find some more. Oh, hey. I got an instant. I didn't have to spend any sealant. Now I can make the next size larger containers. The other one that's going to be a good one is the power generation. It lets you make the, the larger power sources like the big windmills, the larger solar plant, and the new plants. Resource extraction, of course, just like the pictures. It makes you the bigger drilling rigs. Uh, can't unlock that yet until we skill up. I don't even remember. What do I need to skill up that I haven't learned it yet because it's up there. All right. Since we're here, let's rest for a few hours grab some iron, head back over to the aluminum side.
Looks like our iron storage coming in is full. Our aluminum storage is full. Yep, there's another bug. The workbench being obstructed. You know, sometimes it can be resolved by quick load, quick save, or quick save, quick load. And sometimes you have to actually move it and then try it. I just made two levels with that batch. Upgrade geology. Upgrade astrodynamics. And so now I'll be able to unlock outpost engineering on my next level up. So the downside of having the iron in a different place than the aluminum is it takes longer. If you're doing iron and aluminum at the same location and you rest, you get both. At you can you can manage it so you get relatively close to the same ratio of each. So if you're trying to do it for power leveling, this is not the way to do it. You would want to have both iron and aluminum at the same place. And the problem with that is it can take hours to find an overlapping location. I just made two more levels with that with another batch. So we make outpost engineering. Now we need five different outpost modules in order to be able to level that up. So rather than wasting another point right now, let's build some outpost modules. Hallway right here. And on the other side of the hallway, we'll throw a large. If it will let me do it, there we go. We have a large clear hab. We'll go ahead and throw on another hallway. Maybe a maybe a set of stairs. It doesn't like that. Let's go look from outside and see why. Intersecting. Too low. Too low to the ground. Can we build another hab? We don't have enough iron, huh? We could build a sciency hab. But no. Oh, it won't let me build there. It says it's too close to the ground. Now we can try to get around that by extending the hallway. Nope, that's not going to work either. So let's move the hallway. I guess I better go the other way because I don't want to go into my iron mining area. still intersects with the ground. Dag nabbit. Move that. Move that. Can I build a something here like the double decker? No. Cannot. Cannot. Alright, well let's reduce this. We don't need that big that big guy. Hey, look at that. I was inside that one. Uh, now we can build the two-floor one, and then we can connect things off of the upstairs without running out of, without running into the space issues. If you could struggle with it long enough to get it to go up there. There we go. Yeah. 
gold. There we go. And I need one more. So now let's try the big round one. The round clear one over here. Hello, hello come back. Is that enough? No, need one more. And I don't have enough sealant to build another one. Well, go figure. If I remove this, do I get my four sealant back? I do. Now I can build something different. Let's go with the science hallway. Now I can level up outpost engineering again. the research lab at the other one. Do I have the materials to build another one? I do. So now I have manufacturing two unlocked and power generation. Of course I don't have these mats. I have so we use the ones I have the most of first because there's a chance that you get bonus stuff. How about power gen? Zero wire, of course. Adaptive frames, you got tons of. Not collect, I must not have collected the cobalt while I was over there, like a bonehead. All right, well, I've recorded way longer than I had anticipated, so I'm going to stop this recording here. And if there's any interest, feel free to make a comment, and I'll continue on with how this base building pans out over a longer period of time. But for now, I'm calling it a night. <laughs>